now let's work on the UVs for our head. And the head is going to have its own UV space so that we're able to get plenty of resolution for the baked maps and things like that. So we'll select the geometry that we have for the head. I'm just going to go ahead and auto map it. And you can see that gives you a fairly good result. We got the two sides, you can see the top of it and so forth. So I'm going to start by taking the two sides and I know that I want to try to avoid having seams, you know, up here. And so I'm going to start to take this geometry and let's bring our tools back. And let's go ahead and stitch some geometry between there. You can see there's a chunk right there. So I'll go ahead and stitch those together and work our way out from here. We know on the eyes that everything is enclosed, so we can actually just hit stitch together to really quickly fill all those holes in. We still see some white. You can go ahead and stitch again or so. Same thing with if you have any open areas that are enclosed completely. You know that doesn't connect to the other part of the body, and so you know you're good to just stitch it, and wherever that piece is, it's going to fly into position. So we'll go ahead and do that. Just kind of fill in on this side of the eye. You can unfold. Okay. Now we know we have a piece for the head in here, so we'll go ahead and stitch that in. And then we'll have to cut along the center here at some point. And so we can decide where we want to actually do that. I'm going to cut right here and then fold the two sides over like that. And then when we unfold, the middle part will kind of tear apart. See that? Let's go ahead and sew that together. Sew that together. Same thing here. Now we've got the back. So let's cut that and then we'll start to add that back in. We've got two separate pieces for that. And this needs to be kind of sewn back down to the side. Unfold. And if you find that you're not getting enough in the unfold, you can cut an extra seam up there and it'll be able to, you'll, it'll be able to route, relax itself a little bit more. So let's come in over here and we'll stitch this together. Okay. And you can see here where we've got this piece is wanting to connect over with this piece. This is actually the edge of the jaw. And so let's take a look here and I want to cut that down the middle. So right there, basically. Go ahead and cut that, and we'll stitch that over to the other side. Do another unfold. Let's start to add some geometry down here. Now this, we grab that loop. You can see that's the, the open loop where the horn goes. And so let me cut that down the center. Go ahead and sew that together. Sew this together. Again, unfold. Put this piece over on the other side. And this is actually the nose piece. And so I want to actually start connecting it down from here. So this is actually this piece here. So let me temporarily disconnect the sides of it. And now we can start to come in here and stitch some of these bits on the side and then they're going to want to attach down the front of this. So let's go ahead and add some of these pieces together. Fill in some of these holes. And you can see we're missing some stuff over here. You can see that needs to go on that side. So let me actually cut it off in the center. And it flies over to that side. And we'll clean this side up in the same way. Right, it should start making a little bit more sense to you. I'm trying to make it symmetrical, so I want to come down under the chin. And let's actually split it in half. And then this other side will end up over here. So 
I'll just kind of work my way around. Unfold. And a couple more. Okay. And you can see, I didn't even look at the other pieces. I, I took a base, so the front of the face, and I started stitching pieces to it. Little at a time, little at a time. I didn't bother looking at which piece went where. I just started putting the main piece of the puzzle together and then worked my way out. So that's the way I do it a lot of times. You don't have to do it that way. Uh, but it, I like the feeling of getting it put together as you know piece by piece. So we do have a seam down here on the chin. And then we have the seam along the back of the head. Let's see how our distortion is. So we'll turn on our checker pattern. And you can see it's pretty distortion free. I think that's going to work just fine. And additionally, it's kind of square shaped. I mean, it's, it's angled a little bit, but it's going to take up a lot of the space in our UV layout. And especially you can, especially um, you can rotate it. Just be aware that uh, if you rotate it, think about your pixels. If you're looking at straight lines and you have something that's rotated, you're going to have to use the diagonal of those pixels to get the straight line. And so that's something to think about because you're going to be less able to do that. Now here we can see that it fits in there, but it's, it's actually not as square shaped as I uh, said a second ago. And so if we want to now fix this in here while still taking up a lot of space, we can rotate it. Certainly you can see that gets us closer we Can do that. But we can also, if there are areas that are kind of pointing out of it, we can use a lattice. So let's go to tools and I'm just going to throw in a lattice and I'm going to select those points, each point and kind of move it in and we'll move these in a little bit. And so we can kind of squeeze it into this area and you can see our squares are still pretty good. There's a little bit of distortion, uh, but we can unfold that inside of the lattice. And so something like that, I think it will work. You are getting a little bit of stretching in a couple areas, but actually it looks pretty good. Keep in mind where the seam is though. And you can also do the same thing with your lattice except square, but I think I'm going to maximize it a little bit better with the diagonal. But again, it's up to you. All right, let's add a material. So I'm going to create a new blend. Let's call this head. Let's add a color to it. Your bright blue. And let's assign it our head. All right. So now we've got our head UV'd and material assigned. Let's go ahead and hide it. The next thing that we'll do is the wood. So all of the pieces that are supposed to be wood, we'll do those. All right, we'll do that next. 